Well, hey everyone, this is Katrina Sequenzia. I am so delighted that you are joining me for this video because I have a very special guest with me today. This is Jackie Scott and she is with me. She's a lovely, wonderful member of Healthy For You and she is here to inspire us to not only be our healthiest us, but to also give us some inspiration and some idea as to how to begin our own healthy journey. And I hope by watching this that you're going to be inspired to do the same. So Jackie, welcome. I am so delighted that you are here. Thank you. I'm so grateful to God for the opportunity to be here. Awesome. Awesome. So Jackie, tell us what is, you know, what was your life like before you started this healthy journey? You know, a few, um, several months ago. It was like a yo-yo. I was yo-yo dieting left and right, up and down. It seems like my entire life, and I'm 57 years old now. Um, so I would eat whatever I wanted to, and then I would um, go on this fast diet, whatever was the new latest thing, and try to lose all the weight, gain it right back, eating back to losing weight. So I've been doing that for over 20 years. Mm. I will tell you, it's... <laughs> That is a common struggle for many of us, me included. I spent a decade of my life on the yo-yo diet roller coaster. I totally understand, totally can relate. So what were some of the challenges you faced during that time where you were you know, really struggling on that yo-yo dieting? What were some additional challenges that you faced? Um, not feeling good, being sluggish, um, headaches, and really not knowing what it was, where it was all coming from, but I wanted to eat healthy. I just didn't know how. Mm -hmm. So I would choose what I thought was good foods, but I didn't know. I didn't have a healthy understanding of carbs, um, fats, uh, meats. So I would just pick and choose what I thought was good, top it off with a piece of cake and ice cream and say that I ate good and <laughs> there's nothing wrong with eating the dessert. So my after doing that, I would have this energy and then the crash. Yes. So it was also up and down with my energy level, mainly yes. the things that I ate, very sluggish. Yes, yes. So you kind of went on this like blood sugar roller coaster where it just kind of like, right. And then so we're, and then when we're down, what do we want to reach for, right? We want to reach for more carbohydrates, more right. sugar. Right. And feel good, yeah. Right, to boost up our energy. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, there, were there any other challenges you wanted to share before? Um, no, I think the main thing was just not knowing how to get off the cycle, wanting to change, um, being, um, I say overweight, but everybody's version of overweight is going to be different, but just not feeling good about myself, um, the way I look and the way I felt. Yeah. So that was just a challenge for years. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how are you overcoming some of these challenges now? Well, now... By, by God's grace, truly his grace, I um, happened to meet Katrina. <laughs> I met you. I cannot tell you how. I just knew it was the Lord. I happened to be on Facebook. I met you. I listened. I did the five-day challenge. And through that, I started taking the steps, and I knew it was just the Lord. I started drinking more water first thing in the morning, drinking more water throughout the day something that I took for granted. I can drink water, whatever. I didn't think it was a big deal to how I felt, but it really did change how, how I started to feel. Drinking more water, eating more vegetables, and just slowly um, upgrading, really, on better things to eat and, and letting go the fast food, things of that nature. I'm not perfect. I do eat fast food from time to time, but it's not my go-to anymore. I really don't even think about it. Right. I just change how I ate by listening to your program. It's amazing what can happen because it's like the, when we take the steps towards health and it becomes more part of our life and it becomes part of our DNA, right. it's like those other things don't become a requirement any longer because it's not who we are. It's just, we become somebody new. And so, yeah. you know, I yeah. love that these, no, these things are no longer burdens to you or tying you to yeah. a certain way of of doing things and so you know, that's that can be it such really a blessing because taste it's taste buds yes and it's yeah. so much you know 
it can provide us with so much health too, because when we choose things that bring health and nourishment, you know, that's, that's just continues that process. I love that. Yeah. So tell us Jackie a little bit about where you are now in your health journey. When you look back and you compare yourself, you know, where you were before you started. Um, well, it's been over a year now, just doing the steps that um, you provided through the program. And I just feel more energized. I walk two and a half hours a day. Everybody doesn't do that, but I do that. <laughs> I enjoy doing that. And days when I don't do it, I just don't do it. But I, it's just natural for me now. A part of my lifestyle change is to just eat healthy. I don't look at it as eating healthy or eating bad. It's just part of my life now. And the way I eat um, is having mm -hmm. Um, water first thing in the morning, eating, having a smoothie, a healthy smoothie, um, having a wonderful salad with, you know, good greens and fruits and vegetables for lunch and for dinner. And I feel good overall. And I've lost inches and I've lost 15 pounds. That's not a lot for a lot of people. And it's not about the weight. It's just a change. And it's a byproduct of the choices that I've decided to make of how I eat and how I grocery shop and the things that go in my mouth. I honestly think about everything that goes in my mouth, but not worrying. Where well, before, when I was on the diet and the roller coaster, I would eat something that I thought was healthy, slim fast or whatever it was. But then at night I was creeping in, still trying to get something else. It was still a void within. And now I don't feel deprived at all. Yes. I, I don't. And that's the honest truth. I really don't feel deprived. That's I don't amazing. even think about it. I just eat throughout the day and I'm satisfied and I'm going to bed. And it's good. Yeah. And it's done. Like it's to done. end to end the battle with food, isn't that what we all desire? Is just that, oh my goodness, now I actually whereas before on the diet roller coaster, I had to eat the salad, I had to eat yes. this, I had yes. to eat that, but yet yes. feeling deprived in the process. Yes. And therefore then we go into that self-sabotage like yes. you were talking about versus, you know, when it becomes part of our mind, our mindset begins to shift and yes. we begin to look at food differently and then it becomes part of who we are and yes. it becomes part of our life. Then we easily execute and it no longer feels like deprivation. We're no longer tied to food and we can truly become free. And that sounds yes. like, you know, where you've, where yeah. you've come. Yeah. Before it was like a battle before I felt like I was in bondage that, Oh, I feel guilty if I eat a slice of pie or cookie. And then I try to make up and eat more salads and greens. I'm going to do this for a week and I'm not going to do anything on the weekend. And you know, just that same, that old mindset that I can eat good through the week and come the weekend, I'm a party and I'm a celebrate. And, but I don't think like that anymore. Now it's, a totally different mindset. I I eat um, good foods and I feel good that I made good choices and I don't have to celebrate on the weekend by having something that I didn't have through the week. It's just good choices every day. Yes. It's, it's good choices every day. Absolutely. And those good choices help us to feel better. And like you're saying, with having that energy upgraded, having no longer being on that energy roller coaster, Right. That encourages us to stay the course because I think we all just want to feel good, right? Yes. We want yes. to feel better. We don't yes. want to feel tired and exhausted all the time. So, yes. well, Jackie, thank you so much for sharing your story with us, sharing your journey. Okay. And, um, and so I just thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that this is an ins inspiration to you that you also will want to continue your healthy, free life. Until next time, bye for now.